if it wasn't for my uncertainty and the fact that I didn't know what I was doing, I probably wouldn't have realized that I could introduce other discussions. I did a lookbook on cultural appropriation um, because as someone who grew up outside of, our, of my culture, I grew up outside of India my entire life, and I saw how people um, took a lot of parts of my culture and either wore it or um, basically accessorized it, and I didn't really feel comfortable about it. Um, and uh, when this was mentioned in the second year module, um, I was like, well, this is something I actually really want to look into as well. So um, I thought I'll take uh, cultural appropriation and the whole fashion play, uh, racial plagiarism within the fashion industry and kind of try to create it in a more um, relevant method, which is a lookbook, which is, um, you know, quite a quite an important piece of um, uh, asset in the fashion industry. It's how you present ideas. It's how you get people to look into um, what your current trends are. Um, and so I wanted to make an impact. I wanted to inform people. I wanted to kind of show what uh, cultural appropriation is, you know. I mean, I don't even know where to begin with how stressful this entire situation was when in a matter of second overnight, we got told um, we had to, you know, stop teaching and our access to face-to-face -face meetings had to stop because it was too unsafe and this really meant like how did we continue how could we continue with the dissertation and um, especially a media project which is just not words you know you I have, I have to go out and take these pictures as well um, and it didn't affect I know it affected mine and a lot of people where I had to actually uh, change my half of my plan I had to like cut down on the photos I took I had to kind of devise other methods I can um, introduce my ideas and and I think that's this is where uncertainty plays like such a big part in kind of maybe if it wasn't for my uncertainty and the fact that I didn't know what I was doing I probably wouldn't have realized that I could introduce other discussions um, that would have helped my argument like I felt I only had to provide primary sources, I only had to give up my own arguments. And then I realized actually there is so much of it. There's so many discussions out there, especially on Twitter about cultural appropriation that I could really bring in and, you know, make an impact, create an argument. So I think that definitely helped my project. Um, but I'm not saying uncertainty is a good thing. I think it has its uh, pros and cons. It, it helped me in this situation, but also I think it's just not a nice place to be in when you're you know, not sure how your media project is going to play out, how you're going to get graded. And luckily the department, you know, as a student and as a student rep, I saw how hard these guys were working to make sure that we were comfortable. And I mean, everyone, it's a team, it's a team effort at the end of the day. And we were all working together to make sure that, you know, uh, we weren't kind of in the dark. And I think this goes for like my future plans as well, you know, because I, I don't know how teaching is going to be. And obviously media is such a hands on subject at times. Um, a lot of people, in fact, including my friends and, you know, one of my current friends who's doing a master's in MCS, um, she was like, it's, it's really hard to kind of describe our emotions because it's like, well, what do I do now? Like, do I do I completely start from scratch? Like, can I still study? And um, I think that's that's like up to uh, individuals, but um, I would say this was this is a risk worth taking um, that going into online education because I, I mean you might miss out on a lot of face to face. I think that's crucial to have that experience, but also I think it's um, it's a risk I, I worth I'm taking. I am going forward with my master's, so I'm hoping it will be just as good. But you know, fingers crossed, I guess.